Yeehaw! Looks like we got some competition going on in Appaloosa. Competition always seems to be alive in Appaloosa. Regardless if it's a rodeo or a buckball, everyone in Appaloosa always seems to be in a fairy spirit of competition. One question remains is how one can keep focus without being exhausted, especially if it's Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy. Well, enough chat. You folks know the drill by now. <laughs> Come on, Hasbro, you really wanted me to hate this episode? You're gonna have to do better than that. Well, wasn't Little Strongheart supposed to appear in this episode? I mean, where was she? As a matter of fact, I actually wish that most of the episode was in Appaloosa, like Rainbow Falls was for... Rainbow Falls. Well, you get the idea. Well, other than that, I don't have much to complain about. In fact, I think both Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy actually had a great chemistry with each other, which is rather ironic considering who's voicing both. In fact, I actually enjoyed seeing them both break down at the train scene over the pressure of buckball season. And if you ask what my biggest surprise to the episode was, it was actually Snails. He was a clumsy, skull-like character who somehow managed to rescue himself from the scrappy heat with a zen-like state when it comes to buckball season. In fact, I think this kind of snail seems to be used more often. So what if Buckball Season isn't the greatest episode this season? That doesn't mean I don't like it. It's enjoyable to say the least, and I would like to see Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy team up again in the future. Maybe team them both up with Discord. 
On a side note, isn't it rather odd that the word buck actually sounds almost like a certain curse word, but I can't seem to put my mind to it. I mean, what was it? Uh, uh, ah, f*** it. Now here's my plan.